Yeah. We will now listen to a young lady who has adopted a cause on behalf of all of humanity and has worked to fight climate change herself. I would like to give the floor to Ms. Lea Namogerwa, a climate activist from Uganda. I greet you all who are here for a good cause. Leaders who are working tirelessly to save our dear planet, I salute you. Individuals like Leah Namgera, who are doing whatever it takes to see that life continues on our dear planet, I salute you. And those who are still denying and have not yet believed that the climate crisis is affecting us, we have stories to share. I and many young people were robbed from our future. We've been forced to grow, to act, to think like adults, because we cannot watch as our future is shut, our dreams put to an end, our home, Mother Earth, burning, heating in drought, and we do nothing. When I was 14 years old, I saw landslides killing so many people due to harsh weather conditions. These images have disturbed me and cannot allow me to rest until something is done about the changing climate. Individually, everyone has a role to play to save our dear planet. At such a tender age, I started a project called Birthday Trees when I was standing 15 years of age. I plant trees on people's birthdays as one of the ways to fight climate change. I have a goal of planting one million trees and more. What is your goal? It is the rule of nature living for others. Because plants do not eat their own food. Rivers do not drink their own water. I don't believe it is justice to the young generation when our rivers and lakes are polluted. I don't see justice when big polluters are untouchable. Is it justice for the world leaders to choose profits over lives? COP27 has been nicknamed the African COP. If COP27 is to truly deliver, we must face some real truth. Some truth that will face decades of inaction from world leaders. Some truth that the world is in a state of emergency because of fossil fuels. Some trust that Africa contributes less than 4% of the carbon emissions, but we suffer the most. The future is at stake, mostly young children. We're not sure whether we are heard when we speak or we're just ignored. But let the African COP be a different COP. Let the African COP listen to the biggest stakeholders. Let the African COP be an action COP. Politicians, when you stand up to talk, my generation requests that speak like there is an emergency. Speak like you are not barren. Act like you have an access on earth, because this is the only planet where we are going to carry on your legacy as your children. Men in office, how are you going to be remembered? Do you wish to be remembered as one who did a lot of nothing while in power? Fellow delegates on the conservation front, the world is looking upon us to come up with an ambitious action plan that majorly benefits people. A sustainable plan that predicts a bright future. The time to force action is right now, right here at the African COP. I believe we can do this together. Thank you. Shukran, Lia Namugera, Nashitat Al Munech, Min Uganda. I would like to thank Ms. Lia Namugera, climate activist from Uganda. Dear hosts, ladies and gentlemen, 
I would now like to welcome the 2007 Nobel Prize winner, fighter for the climate and for Earth, President, former President, Vice President of the United States, Mr. Al Gore. Highnesses, Your Majesties, uh, Heads of State, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Guests, it is a, a great honor to be able to play a part in this opening ceremony of the 27th Conference of the Parties. Mr. President, thank you. Mr. Secretary General,